everyone, it's Allie from Titan. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I am back with... Okay, that went super well. But I am back with the rest of this case of credentials. A personal break opening for Zach M. As these boxes fly all over the place. But this is the last of the credentials that we do have in stock. If you remember, I did mention last week that we did have one loose box. But since we did reopen the store yesterday, that one box did sell by itself. So I don't know what was in it. But it wasn't a part of this awesome case that we've been opening. So hopefully we didn't miss out on anything too great. But this case so far has been absolutely insane. Zach just saw that last video. He didn't do one break. And there were some super cool cards in there. So I wonder if he's feeling a little bad. Don't worry, Zach. I'm sure we'll get something super awesome in these boxes as well you've had super great luck so far and i'm excited to get into these before i do though quick update this is the last of the credentials that we do have in stock as i mentioned before but when we are looking at everything that's coming in next week which we will have a ton of stuff and a ton of videos so if you thought the past couple weeks have been an insane amount of uploads it's going to get a lot worse i mean better but you guys know what I'm saying. But we are getting SP Hockey in next week. Upper Deck SP Hockey that is coming in. Should be here. I think the UPS will deliver it on Tuesday. And I'll be trying to record videos either Tuesday night and really early Wednesday morning. So we'll be do we will be opening a box just to preview the product like we always do when something new comes in for that. So SP Hockey is coming in next week. And we are also able to get a full case of the Opeachy Platinum once again. So if you missed out on that or you're wanting to do some more, not quite sure when that will be coming in. But we are getting another full case restock of that. So if you want some more Chrome cards, make sure to stay tuned for that. But when you clicked on the video... It was for, ooh, that actually, I'm holding that pretty cool. That looks cool. But it was for Credentials Hockey. So let's get into this for Zach M. So I've snapped myself into the corner. Matt's looking a little sideways, I think. So let me fix that real quick. All right, so let's get started with box number one. I hope we can get something super cool. Our lowest autograph so far has only been out of 65. So I wonder if we can get something even lower. I wonder if we can get some more SSPs. I didn't say let's cut the uh, upper deck seal and... Uh, I didn't, of course, because that's the way it is. This is what happens on this channel. If I don't mention, I gotta cut the seal. I don't do it. I forget. And then... <sighs> you all know what I'm saying. It's still early. My coffee has not kicked in yet. But since we are back open again, we are, well, if you didn't know, first off, we are a card shop in Pinellas Park, Florida. So we have reopened, you know, gently. We're just letting one person at the store. We're asking that if you do come in, please wear a mask or, you know, call ahead. We're doing a lot of curbside as well. So that way you don't even have to come in the store. You know, that way there's as least amount of interaction as possible to prevent any spread of anything. But where was I going with this? But yeah, we are a physical shop. So, you know, hey, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, make sure you come check us out. I feel like I was going to say something different, but... Anyway. Oh, but yes, since we are reopened, I have to do all my videos earlier in the morning. So if you do order a personal break later in the afternoon, I won't be able to get to it today because, like I said, we are open. So, you know, there's things going on in the background. There's if there's someone in the shop or the phone ring. So, you know, either I might start coming in every day early in the morning to do personal breaks if there are a lot. Or if not, it may just have to wait until Friday if you do order something this afternoon. That's what the message I was originally trying to get across. So anyway, let's get started with pack number one because I feel like I've talked too long for this introduction. There's people yelling outside. Of course, that's the that's the Titan curse here. There's always some kind of weird background noise. All right, so let's get started. First pack, start with a Mark Andre Fleury. Rookie Science, Emil Bemstrom. Oh, there's something. Uh, is that a through the boards here in the first pack? Sticking out on the bottom. Do they have autographed ones? Don't know, but this one is not autographed. But this is a through the boards Ryan Paling acetate insert. Very cool for the Montreal Canadian. I thought we had gotten the Canadians player before already. Was it a Nick Suzuki through the boards? Can't quite remember. It'd be weird if we got two of the same through the boards inserts in the same case. But let me get a sleeve. I had them in the proper area for me to reach them, and then I put the boxes where the sleeves were, so then everything got shifted over. But here we go. Ryan Paling for the Canadians. Through the boards, young blood, so it is a rookie through the boards card. But I really like these. I think these inserts look awesome. So cool. What first First pack is off to a great start for Zach. wonder if that means we will have multiple premium inserts again in this box. If you missed out on our... Uh, his, the last opening for Zach had multiple premium inserts in it. These packs have been quite difficult. I'm not sure if it's just this case or if anyone else opening the product has had difficulty with the packs as well. But they have been a bit frustrating to deal with if i do say so myself we have start of the night austin matthews and a nick suzuki debut ticket access rookie card number out of 299 
That's really cool. That is the lowest number that I have seen out of these. I remember, I think last video was, I was saying, I think maybe they'll go down to only $4.99, but we have a counterexample right here in our hands. Nick Suzuki, debut ticket access. And the two base cards, Austin Matthews and Ovechkin. We are going to start doing live breaks soon as well. We have talked to someone who's interested in having me do a live break for them this Saturday, this weekend, so hopefully that all goes well. Our microphone, I think, should either be in later today or tomorrow. So if you notice in whatever the next videos that are not today, because we do have a few for today, if you notice a change in the audio quality, I mean, hopefully it goes up. Hopefully it doesn't go down. I would hate for it to get a microphone that sounds bad. But that is what it is. So our new microphone should help us. Oh, that's cool. We have an acetate. Debut ticket access autograph number 41 of 99 of Vili Abramov from the Ottawa Senators. I believe Abramov is also the autograph we got numbered out of 65, so it is a Senators hot case perhaps in these different autographs, but that's really cool looking. That is acetate on card autograph numbered out of 99. I like how the little Senators kind of ominously looming in the background, but that's really awesome looking. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And actually, a very nice autograph as well. I think if I bring it up too close, it gets blurry because of where I have it set. But right there, it looks really good. Awesome. So two acetate cards so far, which are some of my favorite cards. I mean, I love the steel wheel cards in here, but I just something about clear cards is just, I don't know, it gets me. I like it. I like it. That, that's the thing that I like. But, um, yeah, this is, ooh, this pack feels heavy. Is there steel in here? Is this just Zach? Or it, I don't know what to say except just, bruh. Like, this case is ridiculous. Yes, there is a steel card. I can see it through the top. Oh my goodness. This this case, you guys, has been insane. Tell all your friends about it to come watch. Come watch me open up all of the case boxes. And get really insane stuff. Kirby Doc Rookie Science. And we have another Steel Wheels Parallel numbered out of 99. We, oh, opened up one last box for Boba Fett me, but this one is Taro Hirose from the Red Wings, number 36 of 99. Show those base cards real quick. And it is Steel Wheels number 16. It was funny, when I first opened this one up last time, I was like, why does it say It's like, oh, it's, um, yeah, it's just Steel Wheels. I'm just not the brightest. But this is cool looking. I love the uh, parallel in the background. It's kind of like a, looks like a camo, kind of like army style. It kind of Kind of matches my shirt today a little bit. I know it's a tiny little picture, but uh, I think you guys get the point. That's cool. We have Steel Wheels numbered out of 99 of Taro Hirose. So two premium inserts in this box so far. Put that right there. What else is in this box? What else is in these other two boxes? I want to see after everything's done. We haven't hit like a vet autograph or anything. I wonder if we can get like something cool. Uh, my mom's favorite player is Bobby Orr. I don't know if he signed for this set. He sometimes does, but oh, little pack piece fell off. You know, or like a Wayne Gretzky autograph or something. Is there something stupid in this in these boxes? I, I, only one way to find out is uh, keep watching. But I'm excited to be able to open the rest of it. I know, myself included, I was a little worried after the first couple boxes. Like, what? What? Can there any be anything left in this case? Can there be anything left? And like every box we open, it's like, yep, there was still something left in here. So. The case is not dead, contrary to, uh, I wouldn't say popular belief, but, you know, realistic belief. You'd be like, oh, man, there's been a lot of good stuff out of here. Can't be much left. But every box proves us wrong. So hopefully we will continue that trend. As Zach got the majority of the case, actually. So hopefully we can get some awesome, some, like, super case hit. We have a red parallel coming up. Here we have another Ryan Paling insert, rookie signs. And we have... A red parallel of Patrick Kane, number 11 out of 199. I believe Zach got a green parallel of Patrick Kane already in his box with the Kirby Doc autograph. That's cool. Let me sleeve that up. Numbered out of 199. The red goes well with his Blackhawks jersey. Second to last pack of this box. I should probably pick up the pace a little bit so this video doesn't take like three hours to upload. It's the longer, I don't know why, our upload speed isn't that bad, but it takes absolutely forever for the videos to go online. I am filming this at 1020, so by the time I'm done with this video, it'll probably be somewhere around like 1045. And then uh, I get started with, uh, yeah, I do all the recordings in a row, 
So I have a box of uh, the Rise of Skywalker Series 1 Star Wars product coming up after this. And then another box of Series 2 Hockey for Charlie H. So let's say those take about 15 minutes apiece. So then let's say I'll be done around 11.15. I feel like this video might not get up until somewhere around 1 o'clock. Because it just takes forever. Because I have to process it right now. It, it used to take longer for processing because I used to have to put the two different... I used to record the uh, face cam and the card cam separately. There's two rookie ticket access uh, inserts in this box. We have Jake Wenzel, uh, Trent Frederick, and Libra Hajek. That's out of $6.99. But anyways, I used to record both the face cam and the card cam separately and then put them together in my not bootleg Sony Vegas, but free open source alternative to Sony Vegas that I googled and found it. It works well. But that used to take longer when I would have to compress the two videos together and the audio and add the intro and the ending for our videos. Now I just have to add the microphone and the intro and the endings. Soon I will only have to put on the intros and the endings, which will be nice. So hopefully that'll take keep taking less and less time. So that usually takes about a little bit over the length of the video itself, and then uploading can take hours. I'll do a recap at the end of our three boxes to see how well we did in every single, you know, all over. I was going to say in every single box, but then be like, well, if you're looking at how you did in every box, then you should do it after every box. But just because I know myself, I'm not going to be able to help myself of doing a review of, like, all the cards at the end anyways. I don't want to do a, like, per box review. So let's get into box number two. Cut that upper deck seal. Hopefully we can get something super cool in this box as well. So far, I'm I'm pretty happy with what we've got. So far. I hope you are, Zach. I hope you're enjoying this. Thank you so much for letting me open up so much credentials for you. I really, really love this product. I'm sure you have heard me mention it before. They look like Panini cards. And I just think they're just very vibrant and just great looking. What do we have? Pack number one. We have Adam Fox, Rookie Science. And we have another acetate, but this one is Jake Wenzel for the Penguins, 141 out of 199 acetate parallel. That's really cool looking. I'm loving these cards, you guys. TA and JC. Ticket access. It's not rookie. Did I say rookie? Hopefully I didn't. Because obviously it just says ticket access and it doesn't say rookie on it. But that is Jake Wenzel for the Pittsburgh Penguins, 141 of 199. Ticket access JG. That's cool. First pack. First pack we've been doing really well. I finished that bag of sleeves and then I didn't bring over the new one. So are these are these the acetate boxes? Or are these just going to be loaded with acetates and acetate autographs? I hope so. That That's what I would like to see. I mean, it's more important what Zach would like to see. But yeah, that's what I would like to see. Sorry if I'm all over the place. I think the coffee kicked in like five minutes after the video started because I started I was like I'm forgetting what I'm saying and then now I'm all like burp, burp, burp. oh we have a star of the night rookie of Quinn Hughes very cool star of the first star 10 I think that is a more rare card to get we have Emil Bemstrom numbered out of 499 for the Columbus Blue Jackets We started off with the Nick Suzuki, so I've just started sleeving all these as we go. Usually I sleeve all the inserts and whatnot after the video is already over when I'm packing stuff up. Which recently I've been having some weird difficulty with it. I keep giving myself paper cuts when I'm building the boxes that we ship stuff out in. I don't know, fun fact? Is that a fun fact? But, I don't know, I just, I sleeve the Nick Suzuki. And we have another acetate autograph. That is awesome. I, I say autograph because there's no other little little barcode thingy here, the little line. I mean, you wouldn't see the barcode yet, but you'd see like this part up here, like the actual ticket, like receipts. But, do, do, do. All right, so I see an R and I see an elbow that's red and white. So is it another Taro Hirose autograph out of this case? Is it someone, is it Jack Hughes? I don't think so. I think the, it would be all red, but we have base card, Mark Stone, taking it slow. Brock Besser. I've learned how to pronounce his name. I always thought it was Boser, but it is Brock Besser. Thank you so much, Kevin, for helping me with that. I feel bad every time I pronounce someone's name wrong. I don't do it on purpose. I see. It is a Red Wings player. Who is it? It is Tara Hirose. Out of 99. 23 of 99. Debut ticket access. 
Hara Harose was actually the first autograph we got, is the one that we opened up for the shop. We got a just a regular debut ticket access, but that is cool. Out of 99, that's state parallel. Actually, really nice and centered, the autograph. Looks like he just puts Taro. Interesting. I love these cards. They look so cool. So we got two acetates so far. We have not gotten our premium insert yet. wonder if that will be another acetate. wonder if we can get a bonus autograph as well. We've gotten two boxes that had two autographs in them. Both rookie science insert autographs. There is more metal. Ooh. I didn't even feel like this pack was heavy. I just picked it up and I started opening it. And there's more metal. Guys, this case is ridiculous. I mean, I know you're supposed to get, you know, either like an acetate or a steel wheels per box. One box, one time we didn't. We got, I think, just a colorful character split them. No. No, that seems like a bad idea. Let me grab here. All right. That came out. Okay. These packs, man. These packs are killing me. Who is it? I want to know. Not slow rolling it. But we have another one out of nine. nine not, 99, we have Philippe Myers from the Flyers, that rhymes, 21 of 99, Steel Wheels Parallel, Eric Stahl, Brent Burns in the back, that is Steel Wheels number 6, Philippe Myers from the Flyers, that is cool, I love these steel cards as well, I still the acetates are my favorite, but the steel ones are so cool, sleeve them up because they are metal, you can't really hear the metal sound, I'm using the flat part of my nail, not my actual nail, but they can get scratched up by nails and whatnot if you're not careful with them. So always make sure you sleeve them up right away. I mean, I would sleeve up anything that, like, you care about right away. Like, when I'm opening stuff on my own, I'll sleeve, like, Ben Bishop base cards. Because I'm like, I need it to be nice and protected. Like, you know. If you watch my Star Wars video, I also have my, well, I have my Star Wars videos. But my Star Wars collection videos, you'll see I have some stuff in Magnetics that don't belong in Magnetics. But, like... I have, like, one Battle Droid card that's, like, cheaper than the actual magnetic cost, but, like, I like it. I like keeping it nice and safe. But we have a Jack Hughes for the Devil's Rookie Science insert. And then Guillaume Brisebois. Did I get that? Let me know in the comments down below if I pronounced his name right. I kind of just YOLO'd it. But, um, my mom is from Montreal, so I've been to uh, Montreal quite a few times. Some of you have sniffed out my, uh, the residuals from my mom speaking English, my, uh, accent. A little bit of accent I picked up when I was... I was younger, and I did take some French classes when I was in uh, middle school quite a few years ago. But, um, so I, I like to think that I can I have the possibility to pronounce the majority of these names right, or at least the French Canadian names right. I'll give myself a pass on some of the Russian names and other European things, but first I was like, oh, that's cool, but I think that's just the back of a base card. It looks cool though. It's the back of a Carter card. Sticking out, yeah. I saw the red, and I was like, <gasps> red? What does red mean? And it was like, it means it's a base card. But we have a Noah Dobson credentials insert. Obviously credentials insert, but rookie science insert. But we have an Elias Pedersen. Green parallel, 97 of 99. Very cool. He's a rookie a couple years ago. This was actually the last time I watched the draft, is when the, the two years ago. Not last year with Carter Hart and... Um, the Clayton Keller and whatnot, but the year before, was it the Austin Matthews year? I believe so, yeah. When Connor McDavid, then Austin Matthews, and then I don't remember who was first picked last year, and then Quinn Hughes, or not Quinn Hughes, Jack Hughes this year. But yeah, I actually watched the draft. Right then. Now I just don't have time for things. I also don't keep track of time as well as I used to. But I guess, you know, my last couple years of university, they really picked up in the demand for my attention so the only thing that wasn't on my brain was school for the last couple of years school and then when the next star wars set was coming out we have a nick suzuki rookie science and a connor bonneman number 699 for the flyers we are getting into this last pack of the second to last box in the case second to last box opening we have here for zach m See if we can get some of the last pack magic. We have an Alexander Barkov, Star of the Night, and a Brogan Rafferty for the Canucks out of 999. That's cool. Again, we got a premium insert parallel of 999. 
not nine ninety nine. I'm getting confused with these. But out of the ninety nine one, the steel was was out of ninety nine. We got a Astate parallel of the ticket, not a rookie ticket, but still a ticket, and one cool Astate autograph. I have to really control myself from being like, look at what we got in this box, because we still have one more box to go. I'm excited. Let me hurry up with this. My piles are blending together. I already sleeved this. For some reason, I saw it, and I thought it wasn't sleeved. But so far, I think we're doing good. Loving what we're seeing. Loving these acetate cards. Loving these steel wheel parallels. So let's get into the last box of this bonkers case that we've had. Can we get a super dope autograph? That would be cool. Love to get something sweet on card. Let's see what we got. Last box for Zach M of Credentials Hockey. have oh that's nice have a red parallel debut ticket access out of 99 of cody glass for vegas very cool very cool that is one card number 143 so i think that'll be our debut ticket access parallel of the box red cody glass we did have a jack hughes one of these in the box we opened for the shop that one did sell the other day but that one was really cool looking because the of course the new jersey devils colors look really good with the red border that's cool. Cody Glass, good rookie for Vegas. So it does seem like the first pack has your parallel of your ticket access card. I've noticed. I think, you know, I'm kind of late to pick it up on that. Oh, we have a star of the night, Cody Glass, again. Second star, 10, so I think that is one of the harder ones to get. We have Rhett Gardner out of $6.99. Nick Kamano out of $9.99. Resisting the urge to sleeve in order to you guys a more streamlined video but, um i don't know what to talk about quite yet in this video like i haven't talked enough this is my mouse just been going on Ooh, do we have a rookie science insert autograph here is that what i spy with my uh, my four eyes is that what i see we have elvis mars the kids and philippe myers autograph from the flyers it's actually a very nice looking auto p myers i like the uh at the end. I think that's cool. That is an insert autograph. So I think it will be a bonus autograph in this box. Rookie Science on sticker. Unfortunately the insert autographs do seem to be all on sticker. I mean I think you would need a sticker because the background is so dark. You want to make sure you can actually see the autograph. But alright, that is our first autograph of the box. Hopefully not our only one. This pack feels a bit odd. I do say. No, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm used to there being the steel wheel card, but did feel a bit thicker. But um, I guess I'll go back to talking about how we have so much product coming in next week. Like I said, we do have the SB Hockey coming in. Not sure when the OPG Platinum restock is coming in. But we also have all the brand new Magic Ikoria stuff coming in on the channel. I'm going to be opening up at least one case of that. Be opening up at least four collector boosters, at least one bundle. I mean, probably just one bundle, but I'll say at least. And one of each of the five colors of the theme boosters, as well as a couple pre-release kits. And then I will be opening up a case of the brand new Upper Deck James Bond set. There's an Astate card in here. The James Bond, a whole case of that, I think will be opened on the channel. Originally, Prism Basketball, Panini Prism, not basketball, uh, Prism Baseball was supposed to be coming out. It's still showing that it's releasing next week, but I believe that was delayed. And then also, there is a new Cryptozoic Outlander set, which I'll be opening a whole case of that as well. So definitely, if you're interested in any of those things, stay tuned, because there'll be like 10 million videos next week. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do. What is our Astate card? This is a Carlson Kuhlman debut ticket access Astate parallel out of $2.99. Very cool looking. Big B. Ominous B. The Bruins. Carlson Kuhlman. Very cool. Kuhlman. <laughs> that wasn't funny. I think my fake laugh was funny. Um, Alright. Yeah, Max Domi, Phil Kessel. Let's go to the next pack. Yeah, so ton, tons upon tons of videos next week. But definitely expect to be flooded with magic videos. Magic the Gathering. 
the Philip Zadina. And, ooh, that's cool. On card. It's weird because his card of Adopichi was a redemption, but we have on card Elvis Merzlikins for Columbus. 59 out of 299. When I first saw his name out of our redemption out of Opichi, I'm sure you all were judging me a little bit because I was like, I don't know who this is. But, as I have so learned, he has turned out to be one of the most promising rookies from this year. Doing very well being a goalie in Columbus. I think he will be a very, very good player in the future. So that's really awesome to see. That actually, I love, I love the way his autograph looks. That's cool. Looks like he almost put a little 7 there. But it says his jersey number is 90. Either way, that looks really cool. That's a really cool looking, nice centered autograph. Very nice way to end off this case out of 299. So let me sleeve that up. I did get two autos in this last box. We're going out with a bang. With a nice on card Elvis autograph. With two packs left, let's see if we can get anything else. We have not gotten our base parallel. The lowest we've seen is a green out of 99. We have gotten a debut ticket axis purple parallel. So those were out of 10 of the player for the Kings. But, um,. We only got a base card lower than 99, so it'd be cool if we could hit like a 101 just to, you know, wrap off something, something cool in this case. There's some red here. Not sure if that is a premium insert. No, that is just, oh, we have our gold belt border for our base parallel. And a star of the night, Jonathan Joanne, former lightning player. And uh, we got rid of him. But third star, number seven. And a Conor McDavid parallel, numbered out of 199, which is a good way, good card. People are still crazy about Connor McDavid cards, even though they're not his rookie. Base card number one. I'll sleeve that up in a minute. Stan Post and Austin Matthews. Last pack of the case. Let's see what we will get. Last pack for Zach. Let's see. Got that nice sound. I've actually kind of grown fond of these packs now that I've figured out how to open them pretty well. They're just nice and sturdy. No, I know, I guess you only you only miss what you don't have, right? You don't appreciate it till it's gone. So let's see last pack. We have Kale McCarr, rookie science insert. I wonder, Zach, if you're able to make the entire rookie science set. I think there's like maybe 30 cards. We have a Dmitrio Timashov out of 699 for the Maple Leafs. Alright, so that is it for this case. Thank you so much, everyone, for sticking sticking with me and watching me open all these boxes. Let me quickly move all this off to the side, all the base, and let me get, well, I don't need to move this off. Just move everything back now. For our parallels, and hmm, I was slacking, I gotta sleeve these up real quick. Give me one moment. Alright, now we could do our box opening recap. So. Mm, let me start with these. Ticket access credentials. Debut ticket access inserts. We have Rafferty out of 99. We have Bunneman out of 699. Breeze Bois out of 999. Bamstrom at 499. Frederick, 699. Hajek, 699. Ainola, 699. Haas out of 999. Nick Suzuki out of 299. Number 84 of 299. Rhett Gardner, 699. Nick Kamano out of 9.99, Scott Saborin out of 9.99, and Dmitry Timashov out of 6.99. That was the last one we just got there in the last pack. For our base parallels, we did get one green, two reds. We got Elias Pedersen out of 99, and for our two reds, we got Connor McDavid and Patrick Kane, both out of 199. Let's go through these Star of the Night inserts. I wonder if you are able to make this set as well. I feel like every time I see some new names. At least a couple new names. There have been a couple repeats. I, I think you should definitely be able to make this rookie science insert set. If not, I, I, I don't know what to say, Zach. Except that I hope you are able to get the ones you need to complete your set quite easily. And then for our assorted hits, premium inserts, and just general super awesome cards, we have Philippe Myers Steel Wheels out of 99. We have a Acetate Autograph of Tara Horose out of 99 on card. Very cool. We have a regular ticket access of Jake Wenzel out of 199. We have another Steel Wheels numbered out of 99, Tara Horose. Notice we got Philippe Myers and Tyler. Taro Hirose, and we got a Philippe Myers and a Taro Hirose autograph. 
but we have the Vili Abramoff debut ticket access on card Ask State Autograph out of 99 to go with our Hello's Safe. We have a Through the Boards Young Bloods Ryan Paling insert. That's TTBYB number six. We have our on card autograph of Elvis Merzlikins for Columbus out of 299. Very cool. That in its own pile. We have a debut ticket access Carlson Kuhlman, Ask State Pearl out of 299. We have a Rookie Science Autograph on sticker of Philippe Myers. This was a bonus autograph in our last box. And we have... Where was that the last box? In one of our boxes. <laughs> I already forgot. And our low debut ticket access. Red Parallel numbered out of 99 of Cody Glass from the Vegas Golden Knights. So definitely some super awesome cards in these three boxes. I hope you are thrilled with these boxes, Zach. Not sure if they're in your opinion, better or worse than some of the other ones you've opened, because you've had a ton of really good boxes, so definitely it's hard to say which which one is the best. Not sure if you're feeling that Jack Hughes box the most, the Kirby Doc box. So many, so many awesome cards have come out of this case, and I'm very thankful that you have chosen me to open them up for you. Really appreciate it, because I'm sure there are lots of people out there who do breaks. I know some people are more into the live breaks, like I said, which we will be have coming soon, the opportunity for that. But um, right now we're just doing a lot of recorded stuff until this weekend we will have our first live break so make sure you stay tuned for that but thank you so much for choosing me to open up almost a whole case of credentials for you it was awesome really awesome experience i love checking out all these cards and i'm super happy when i get to pull you something super cool because even though it's not for me that doesn't mean i can't be excited about it because i just love hockey i love everything that i open on here honestly my least favorite is probably basketball because i don't really know anything about basketball but uh, don't tell the people who watch our basketball videos that if you watch basketball just uh, be like what and she didn't say anything but I just, I love opening up cards, and I, I'm happy that you guys enjoy watching me open up cards, because we did reach 1,000 subscribers, which is super awesome. And I'm excited to see that number keep going up, because that means people still like what I do, so that's really great. But, this this is cool. I, these are cool. I, I like the app state. I, I like it. I just... I like it. That's really cool. But I'm, I'm super excited about these boxes. I thought they were awesome. I hope you enjoyed them, Zach. I hope everyone out there who's not Zach, I mean... Maybe you're not the Zach, but your name is Zach. I, I care about you, too. I hope you all enjoyed these openings. Again, thank you so much, Zach, for letting me open up. Without him, they wouldn't. these boxes wouldn't have been... I mean, I'm sure eventually they might have been opened. But without him, they wouldn't have been opened so superfluously for everyone to view and enjoy. So with that, I'm going to get all this moved off to the side so I can get to opening up a box of Star Wars, the Rise of Skywalker Series 1 for Ryan K. But... It was a really good time. So thank you so much for letting me have this experience. I hope you love all your new cards. And I hope everyone out there enjoyed these videos. Now this is the end of the video. If you made it all the way through, really appreciate you watching the whole thing. It makes me feel good when I see we have high watch times. So that means you didn't get bored of me like halfway through. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a little like. Got any comments for me? Did I pronounce someone's name wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you aren't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Join us. Join us here at Titan Cards. It's it's a really good time all around. We got whole diff whole bunch of different things that we open non-sports sports trading cards we have pokemon we have magic we have white swords we have star wars we have outlander we have james bond we have marvel products we have hockey football basketball baseball all different kinds of things so there's something there's a little bit of something for everybody but that's all i've got here for you guys today i will be back in a little bit with some more breaks personal breaks we have like i said the rise of skywalker series one and then some more 2019 20 upper deck series two hockey so a little hockey star wars hockey but that's just the way the breaks were ordered i always keep it in order of you know whoever you know i keep i, I keep everyone in the queue just just you know, I, I try to be respectful <laughs> but with that let me get all this moved out of the way and then i will catch you all in the next video so stay safe and stay tuned because i will be back bye